What is up guys, it's your boy Shady Mike Gaming and in today's video, well today's video is going to be an in-depth breakdown of the sliders in college football 25. Um, I dropped my slider set yesterday, I'll link that in the description, make sure you guys check it out. Oh and also, you know, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more and all that cool stuff. Um, I want to kind of go more in depth and talk about the reasons that I made some of the decisions that I made with the set, walk you step by step with some of the settings. So the first, uh, obviously most important thing is I chose this year to make a Heisman slider set. Um, it, it's weird because <laughs> you guys see me get stomped out on stream a lot. Like I, I lose a lot, but I'm actually a really good player. Like not like not average at all. <laughs> like I'm a really good player, but I don't play well on stream. So I think that leads a lot of people to think I like really suck at the game. But like if you watch like my clips and stuff from offline, I rarely lose. But it's just like I don't know. I think I like when I stream, it's hard to pay attention to the chat in the game and lock in and stuff like that. So I I play on Heisman because all pro even with or sorry not all pro um all american does not provide a challenge for me um even with sliders you know that i've messed around with um my biggest gripe with all american and all pro really is i love running the football and it's just way too easy to run the football out of the shotgun in in all american in madden it's too easy on all pro i, I just don't believe in that um difficulty setting however on heisman um quarterbacks as we know for years can tend to go robo qb on you and uh you have to edit the sliders to uh remedy that also user pass defense is is atrocious on heisman so we've done everything we can to help with that but it's it's still not great but um i digress so like i was telling you guys on stream last time like i recruited a bunch of man coverage guys so i wanted to play like a, a you know a tough physical man-to-man -man coverage team can't do it really you just can't um you gotta zone up because the man coverage is not great on on heisman so that's if you don't run the ball a lot and maybe you prefer to play that way maybe all americans best for you but for me and my personal style i had to go with heisman because just doesn't fit um coach firing i guess that can be on or off whatever you want um so coach speed setting i have it normal but I use fastest. Um, you know what? Judge me if you want, fam. I got a job. I don't got time for this. I don't got time for this XP and whatnot. I wanted to be a charismatic Deion Sanders type coach. Get these guys to Florida State University. Uh, get these guys to league recruit, top recruiting classes, all that. But their coach was more like a strategic guy. I don't have time to be waste, waiting for all those perks and stuff. So I put it at fastest, man. Give me my perks. I don't, I don't got time for that. So uh, edit player is normal. Uh, injury is cool. Wear and tear is cool i've got injury settings later that you know give me some injuries consistently um i saw some people complaining that uh oh there's no injuries in the game blah 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 and then my freaking 89 overall senior left tackle tears his acl and his career's over so uh yeah so much for there not being injuries um quarter length 13 minutes 15 second runoff same thing in college football same thing in madden not changing that very good very good balance of plays especially teams some teams go up tempo one year school um season experience and league advancement i just keep it manual um, auto recruiting manual, coach progression manual. I want to make sure I can choose uh, the settings that uh, that I'm applying. So gameplay sliders. Um, so this is the user start off at the top. Quarterback accuracy is 50. Pass blocking is 50. Wide receiver catching is 50. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, as we play, we will see. Um, accuracy is perfect. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get a lot. Excuse me of inaccurate throws, especially if somebody's in your face. So I, that's perfect. You can make the throws you you need to make, and it's gonna be based on attributes. So um, I had an interesting situation where my quarterback, like the wear and tear, he kind of like bruised his shoulder or something like that, and the dude got like a minus twelve throw power and like a minus fifteen accuracy for like two quarters it was insane i couldn't could barely throw the ball i had to run it off throw screen and stuff like that so that was a cool dynamic thing um i was playing against pitt and they were unranked and i'm ranked number one i almost got upset over that crap it was it was pretty crazy but uh pass blocking for the user we i, I might tweak this later um you do not man if you're playing clemson alabama georgia you're not going to be able to throw the ball deep you're going to have to use the defensive line's aggressiveness um against them throw screens rpos quick outs uh because those star linemen are in the backfield but i honestly feel like maybe that's how it should be so i haven't changed it yet um catching not super 
excited about this. I, I think it needs to go up for the user. Um, honestly, I, I drop a lot across the middle. I think it might need to go up for the user, maybe by like, maybe 10 or so, but I don't wanna go crazy just yet. Maybe, maybe like 10. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at it, but for now I got it at 50 because I just, my receivers drop too many contested catches. So we'll take a look at it. Uh, run blocking is at zero. It's at zero for me on every single set. Um, it just gives the CPU an opportunity to make plays out of runs on the shotgun. So that that is what it is. Um, when it comes to the fumbles, a lot of people have been saying um, they are seeing too many fumbles. I'm not seeing a lot of fumbles, and I've like been through like a whole season and lost like two fumbles. So um, no, I don't see a lot of fumbles. So I've got it at 49. I was considering should I drop it even further. Um, oh, one thing I meant to say on the run block, I'm so sorry to go back real quick. Um, you're going to really see a difference in small schools. Like if you don't have good line, they're not going to be blocking for the run. So you kind of have to, you know, you want to run the ball. You got to recruit your lineman. I really like that. Um, pass defense reaction and pass coverage is at 100. Uh, man coverage is just atrocious. But and so this is all we could do to kind of get it to be manageable. Uh, moral of the story, if you are going to play man, press up and blitz, got to get your quarterback because someone will break open on a quick route, um, a quick out or something along the lines of that. Um, like I said, I recruited all like high man coverage, 86, 87 man guys, and guys are still breaking open. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, and there's not much you can do with sliders. Um, interceptions, I've got it at 35, uh, at 50, people catch everything. Um, 35, you, your guys will still catch some. I've gotten three interceptions in a game with it at 35. So I like it at 35. If you have super duper star corners, maybe think of dropping it to 30, but I like it at 35. So it's been good for me. Um, bad throws are, um, bad throws are punished, uh, by the CPU. I mean, we'll get to bad throws by the CPU in a moment, but yeah. Uh, tackling at 50 for the user, very good. Uh, the CPU, as you guys can see in some of my videos, can and will break tackles and will get loose. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, you you can't be doing arm tackles in the secondary. You have to wrap, wrap up or guys will get loose on you. So let's get to the quarter, the CPU stuff. So quarterback accuracy at 10. Um, oh my God, love it. Um, you will see overthrows, you will see underthrows, um, and then you will see guys just straight up start cooking um last game i think the quarterback from pit uh you know he got hot and completed like 76 percent of his passes and almost uh did a wild comeback on me it was really cool at 10 accuracy the game before that the week before i destroyed clemson um and he was overthrowing guys left and right so really nice mix um if the quarter if the cpu starts shredding you guys switch your freaking defense up i love running the cover three uh slanted underneath um, because that gives my guys a lot, my defensive line, a lot of time to get to the quarterback, but they really strictly just started throwing corner routes. Maybe I can find the footage. There was a point in time when the CPU just started throwing strict corner routes and just blitzing me. I'm abusing the seams and the corners. Once I started doing that underneath coverage, so they know what you're doing. And if you're getting burnt, switch your crap up because they will smoke you. Pass blocking at 50 is good. Elite, elite, elite. Um, Defensive linemen will get through. Um, I got 16 sacks in a year with my 96 overall defensive end. Um, but then I was playing against uh, Clemson and they had like a star tackle on both sides. I couldn't get a pass rush. It was very scary and very concerning for me. Uh, catching for the CPU, I've got it at 45. I had it at 40 at one point. They were dropping too much. 45, they catch a lot. But if you get a good hit on them, um, that you can still jar it, jar it out. So I think what I said about the catching, right? I like where the CPU's at. I just want the user to also be at that, where they can make tough catches across the middle. So instead of dropping the CPU more, because you will still see CPU um, blocks from time and time again, um, I want to raise the user up so that they catch like the CPU. For the CPU run blocking, I've got it at 60. Um, it might might be too high might need to do 55 or something like that um but I, I i like it i like the challenge because you have to if they start saying we are going to run the ball um they will start running the ball and you have to you know switch into a man uh sorry a um 
what am I thinking, a run blitz. Uh, you have to crowd the box, right? So I like it here, but it might be too hard for people and people might be like, oh my God, why is he rushing for seven yards of carry on me? It's it's up to you to stop it. And if you decide to stop the run, you're gonna be vulnerable to the pass. That's how I like that crap. It's that chess match type of a situation. Uh, fumbles, I've got CPU fumbles at 45. Um, you see some, you see some on the quarterback. I, I think it's well balanced. Um, not too many, but you know, maybe one a game, sometimes not, but I like it at 45. Um, I think I might maybe go like 46 for the CPU and then go 48 for the user potentially. But if we do that, that'll be V2. So I'll let you guys know if that changes. Um, pass coverage for the CPU is perfectly fine. They'd be blanketing you like as per usual. Um, interceptions uh, for the CPU, I've got it at 20. Now, personal preference, I mean, honestly, they catch they, they catch everything at anything above this. At this, you're still going to get picked off. Uh, but maybe with it lower, they drop too many. But anything higher than this, guys, just like every time you throw something that could or should be a pick, they catch it. Now, probably like Shady, that's what it should be. But I don't agree. The reason is there's so many variables in a video game. And this is where you have to make a decision for realism versus fun. Um, I just find sometimes with all the different mechanics, high point, free form, revamped, sometimes your receivers and sometimes the corners just don't react the way you would think. Like, I really don't like throwing curl or hook routes because like sometimes my receiver just stands there and it just pisses me off. So I don't think it's fair that that's an interception because I didn't understand that my guy wasn't going to react or I couldn't get over and use him um at you know at some point you know in time so i you know that's personal preference you can do what it with it whatever you'd like but um i prefer it at 20 you can raise it up wherever you feel is is most realistic but you're going to see the cpu drop some and i just think it's a little bit more fair um as my man sabo says just pretend it's a pass breakup and keep it moving uh tackling at uh, 50 is good for the cpu on heisman on all american i was using 75 but uh yeah, it's good. It's good at 50. Um, you, you, you're going to be able to get loose sometimes, but you're not going to be able to get loose all the times. So, you know, it's going to depend on your player, the skills, the things of that nature. I like it there. All right. This is where it gets interesting. Field goal, power, and accuracy. All right. Check this out. I went into the test range um, because at 50 field goal power, the top kicker in the nation, uh, I think he's on Michigan, I forget, could consistently hit from 67. I think that's very dumb. Only way I want to be hitting 60, 60, 62, 63 is if you've got the wind at your back and you've got some type of assistance in college. That's that's my opinion, right? So I basically went in with an you know a kicker, and I wanted the top guy's power. I wanted the top guy to hit from like 62, right? Like in practice, and then maybe with wind you can hit 63, 64, 65, something like that. So the number I came up with was 40, and that works. Only problem is these sliders don't seem to work for the cpu i dropped this thing down to 40 so that you know the kick strength wouldn't be as much like for example my 93 kicker um he can hit from 52 no no sorry he can hit from 58 at the longest um and so that's, that was my logic he, you know it's 92 he can hit from 58 something like that i think 57 58 uh with the red bar was kind of pushing it right so i liked it there man i'm telling you guys i've seen 60 overall cpu kickers hit from 57 so i i don't think this works so honestly do whatever you want with it i got accuracy of 40. they don't be missing kicks uh they rarely miss kicks i did have the cpu miss one last game but it was very long they rarely miss but then when i dropped it to like 35 some guys on Twitter were telling me that they were starting to see the CPU miss extra points. I don't like that. So I'm going to keep working on that for a V2, maybe a 36, 37, 38, 39 could work. But so far, I don't love this change. But I, I love the change for the user. It just sucks kind of that it doesn't um, apply much to the CPU. I got punt power at 55. Um, it just gives us more room for punt returns. That's one of my favorite things to do. So... Uh, I like that there. Um, punt accuracy, maybe I'll raise this to see if it helps the CPU because 
as you guys know, the CPU can barely punt for some reason. Like they be kicking the ball out of bounds at the 25 yard line and stuff like that. So I don't love that, but uh, maybe we'll mess around and see uh, what we do with that. Uh, kickoff power is very interesting and kind of a balancing issue, right? So I've got it at 55. I was even thinking about doing 60. The reason being, I don't know if you guys have noticed, the CPU cannot return kicks for crap. Like if you kick it to the goal line, they're taking that crap to the 10. I just think it's unfair. So I always kick it in the end zone. I want to always be able to kick it into the end zone. So this might be better at 60 now that I think about it. But um, the CPU will still, you know, sometimes kick it to you. And then you can make the decision yourself if you want to take it out. That way, if you take it out, your space is very similar to like if the CPU had taken it out. I don't like the game having like built in advantages for the user, if that makes sense. Um, I've got injuries at 35. I see a couple of games from, from both sides. Looks good. Uh, fatigue is at 60. I see a good rotation. Um, I'm still working on uh, auto subs and rotations and things of that nature. We'll get into that um, because you don't want guys disappearing and things of that nature. So we know that's always a, uh, you know, kind of a, a contentious point. Uh, special speed threshold. This is like, I guess, the hottest topic on the Internet right now. Apparently, um, the official speed threshold for this set is 50. That's the set um, I have tested zero i've tested 25 i've tested 30 i've tested obviously 50 is the default um i tested 65 i tested 76 um and i've tested 89 i've never gone over 89 um guys the reality of the situation i don't want this video to be all about threshold because i could make a whole uh video about it um a lot of people don't seem to understand what this slider does um, I think people think that if you raise it, it's going to make guys run the same speed as defensive linemen. That's not how that works. It just makes the separation a little bit more realistic. Even at 89, guys, my 97 speed wide receivers are blowing by guys. My 95 speed quarterback blitzing past people, you know, behind the line of scrimmage. So um, it's all about finding that happy medium for yourself. I, you know, for most people recommend it at 50. So you might be saying, well, if it's more fun at 50, why raise it? Uh, things like pursuit angles are so much better the higher you go. So if you want to try like a 65 and my NCAA 14 sliders, I use 65 you can do that. You can try a 76. I've gotten pick sixes at 76. I've gotten kick return touchdowns at 89. Guys, do whatever you want. I am not here to sway anybody one way or the other, but I will say this. Don't go below 50. The game is just an absolute NFL blitz type joke with it at anything below 50. I've heard people say use 47 and 40. It's, it's complete nonsense. Um, it should at the bare minimum be at 50 um, if you want any type of realistic uh, gameplay. Um, with it below, I played a couple games at at um, 25 and it's like the CPU broke one tackle and they're going, it's just nonsense. So, uh, you know, do whatever you want with that, guys. I'm, I'm not here to do the soapbox type stuff. Uh, offsides, um, so really quick with all the penalties. Um, we've had some conversations, especially on this channel and, you know, on OS and things of that nature about whether or not penalties uh, affect gameplay or not. And I will say this year doesn't matter because the penalty sliders actually work. So I have an extremely nice and balanced setup here uh, that is going to get you, you know, penalties in realistic situations is actually pretty cool. You'll see some things get called back. You'll see some things not get called back. It's really cool. The only thing I recommend you do with the penalty sliders, though, make sure you turn off roughing the kicker and running into the kicker. It's ridiculous. Um, I almost lost the game because every single time the CPU went to punt, we got a roughing the kicker call. Um, I don't know why the game is like that. It's very strange. Just turn it off. Save yourself the headache. Um, and it works very well. So penalty sliders, they work really cool. Um, I really like off sides and false start because certain teams will actually hard count. And they will get, they'll get you to jump. It's it's really cool, and you can mess with it yourself and try to get the CPU to jump. Um, you'll see holding every now and again. You'll see face mask every now and again. Got a defensive pass interference in my last game, so really cool. I haven't seen offensive pass interference, but um, you know, I'm still getting um a really good uh a really good bounce. I, yo, I I never noticed. It says frequency at normal settings based on NFL data. That's wild. It's not even an NFL game. I, I never noticed that, but that's funny. Uh, they should uh, they should definitely change that text. I, I wouldn't want to see them get in trouble for having that in the game. I don't, I don't know if they're supposed to have that in the game. 
<laughs> but um, I, I digress. Um, all right, so let's look at the rest of the settings and uh, we'll, we'll go through because these are some of the more important ones. Um, all this stuff at this point, guys, is personal preference. So um, coin toss, I have it receive and against win, guys. I think I'm supposed to do kick. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, because I seem to always be getting the ball first. And I think that means the CPU is deferring. So maybe to get like a nice 50-50 split, you want to do kick. I have to test that more, but I had it at receive. I think I'm going to try and switch it to kick. Um, kicking, I like it at tap and hold. Tap and tap is easier, but I just like the grind, the challenge. Um, passing type, guys, is completely personal preference. Um, I, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, I don't even use these settings all the time. A lot of times I do placement off and then small and then 16. So it's up to you in terms of whatever you want to do. I was kind of messing around. Um, revamp passing is amazing. But if you're wondering why I don't use it after saying that, it's because <laughs> I'm a big Madden player and I don't think revamp passing is going to be in Madden. So I don't want to learn a system and then get to Madden and I can't use it. So I've been using uh, placement all year in the uh, Madden 25 beta um so that's that's what i'm using do something like this placement small 16 or something like that i used to use seven but you know it is what it is you can put this literally wherever you feel like it um all these assists i have them all on maybe i'm a scrub i don't know but tackling is hard enough uh in the game everything else is personal preference um all this stuff is personal preference visual feedback is personal preference um yeah, I think I, I keep all this on. So I think at some point I had turned visual feedback off. I'll, I'll mess around with that. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, Cause I do think I changed some of this stuff, but yeah, I've got player names on pre-snap. The cameras are all default. Um, I messed around with wide a little bit, but it's just a little weird looking to me. So I, I keep it on default there um volume control i don't know about you guys sometimes i have a hard time here in the commentary so i think i'm gonna like i think i'm gonna bring this down a bit like i just sometimes have a you know hard time hearing the guys talk they're a little bit low maybe it's my audio mix um but yeah guys this is like you know from me playing the game from a few weeks that you know obviously as you guys have seen on the channel and on twitter and all that i've gotten a bunch of incredible games so i just wanted to share with you guys the settings that i've been using uh, the way i've been having fun and guys the number one thing is and these settings are supposed to help you have fun um i hope they do that for you i put this stuff wherever you feel it, it will help you have the most fun um whatever you want to put it at this is just you know a guide to get you started off um i will be doing a v2 of the sliders um in case there's any you know feedback that i get things that other people notice that could help with the set um other than that guys make sure you like subscribe on your way out it's your boy shady mike i'm signing out peace threes